So imagine you want to buy a car, like this nice BMW. You go to a car dealer, right? The car dealer will tell you, takes some time, takes some costs, like for example, I don't know, 60,000 euros, and um, after two months you will get it. Two months later you come back, back to the car dealer and says, well, there has been some delays and uh, also the car gets like a little bit more expensive now, but I'm pretty sure that your car will be ready in one, one month. One month you come back to your car dealer where he says, yeah, I'm happy to, to share this car with you now. Would you be happy? I guess not. So why I'm showing this example is, this is basically what happens every day in construction, right? We have a lot of delays and a lot of cost overruns and most of the time stakeholders are not happy with their final products. So what can we do about this? We can look, do, look at the manufacturing industry and how they did it. And they did it by really precisely monitoring every process. So we start by data acquisition collecting data from the different construction environments, using crane cameras, but also using sensor data, using drones. This gives us raw data first, right? This data needs, needs to be further processed, so we're using computer vision approaches like object detection, semantic segmentation, and also uh, projections. This gives us information, okay, about the, the on-site resources, but not about the activities. So we need some activity act detection as well. So this can be done by precisely looking at the individual steps of the processes, giving information about uh, reinforcement work, for example, but also uh, concrete pouring, which I presented earlier today, uh, by using scene understanding. But of course, we need to um, integrate this data further. I mean, we have like a lot of other data available already, like the BIM model, like site schedules, and so on, which already is a good basis um, for investigating our process. So we decided to use Knowledge Graph and provide semantic context to these individual processes to leverage our understanding um, to, to a more compre comprehensive. And this will help us to analyze bottlenecks of certain processes, specifically by looking at large amount of data, so for, ex for, he for example, you can see here uh, when workers are doing your breaks and some correlation with weather data, and of course, this needs to be further developed so that we at some point get a digital twin construction, digital process twin to support construction management with this information and give them early information about some delays. Thank you for your attention.